Have you made any progress in locating Eve? Well, we were going to ask you about that. No, I've looked, but she's hidden from me. She's hidden from all angels. Awesome. The hunt for Eve has become very personal, especially to Bobby, because she um, has killed his close friend and former partner, Rufus. And there's, so there's a lot of sort of personal heat behind um, the kind of um, research that he is often saddled with on our show. And uh, he, he susses out a pattern, so he's able to predict, predict where she's gonna be. And uh, Sam and Dean and Bobby and Castile all load up and go to this town, which is a fun thing about this episode is that all our guys are in this town. I was expecting more zombie land, less Pleasantville. Just because it looks quiet don't mean it is. Especially if she's got a clue we're coming. Yeah, well, if she is here, I'm glad we got Smitey McSmiter in our squad. They start to realize that um, things are wrong with these monsters. These monsters are acting in weird ways. What has teeth in a spike? Never seen that in my life. Wait, so Eve's making hybrids now? They haven't just walked into a town where Eve might be. They've walked into a town where Eve is experimenting and creating um, new kinds of monsters. And uh, they're finding both her failed experiments and they're finding dangerous monsters that she's just cooked up. This episode is, uh, it's one of those mythology tentpole episodes where we bring, I think, an important thread of the season to a head. We've been waiting to hear Eve's point of view. We've been waiting to see her. We've been waiting for Sam and Dean to face her. And this is the episode where they finally get to do that.